Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for, for hanging with us this afternoon. I know this is getting into part of time. So I'll try to make my comments brief, but this for me is a singular honor, especially because my family is here to support me. My sons, my beautiful wife, Julie, my mother of 96 years is here. And my childhood friend from California, since we were five and seven, came from California to support us and, and to be with us in, my, in the festivities. Trying to get you. So we all did. I, uh, I like to say to people that I, I attended Pueblo during the Golden Age. And what I mean by that is Pueblo, 1959 to 63, has received a great honor. It was one of the finer high schools in the country. Some of you may remember that. It was designated as Dr. Ed Albert Brooks leadership, under his leadership. Also, we have won the state championship in 1961, Curly. 59 and 61. Competitive in many of the sports. I remember the students involved in a multitude of activities, extracurricular, academic, industrial. It was a wonderful time to be a high school student, and it was a wonderful time to be a warrior. Today, as others have mentioned, uh, I want to pay tribute to the wonderful teachers that helped transform my life and prepare me for an uncertain future. There were many, and I can't remember them all. Dickie wrote them all down, but I, I, can't, I can't remember them. I just want to cite two or three of all that were especially meaningful for me. And one was mentioned earlier, Miss Eileen Sherlock. She taught us all how to improve our writing skills, which helped immensely in college. Coach Bob McCall, who helped us and motivated us to excel in cross country and track. I had to go to cross country and track because I wanted to be a major league baseball player, but there was only one obstacle ahead of me, and I couldn't get over it. I was getting to Stella over here at second base. I could never beat him out at second base. Leonard Pasutra invited me to come and join the cross country team and the track team. And the very first race that I ever saw in cross country, I ran it. I'd never seen one before. So it, that was the start of a, of a very positive career for me. Another person that was very meaningful in my life, Mr. Henry Oyama. He was my homeroom teacher. He was our homeroom teacher, and he was undaunting. He was a pit bull. He would sit us down and go over our progress in our classes and in our grades and urge us to do better. I'll never forget that. And then there was Alberto Guerrero. He taught us Spanish, but he also taught us to be proud of our heritage. And I'll always be grateful to him for that and for all of the things that he's done for so many of us. I give uh, credit to all of, all of the teachers at Pueblo, and there was a common thread that I remember uh, as I reflect back on the years at Pueblo High School, wonderful years. These teachers cared. They were very caring. They were tolerant. They were good in their fields. They cared. And we, those from the radio, those from wherever, attending Pueblo during that time, benefited from their caring and their tolerance. So I give credit to all of these teachers who extended themselves to us and prepared us for the next phase of our lives, some to college, some 
to the vocational fields, to the service. And I have to say that we owe them a debt of gratitude for touching our lives. So with that, I just want to thank the committee for giving us these, this honor, especially to the committee members and to the foundation. I want to say that uh, this is an honor that I will cherish forever. Thank you very much.